We've recently added a whole new set of interactive exploration tools as well. With Pen4, we now have a new Insights app, which adds exploratory spatial analysis and visualization in an easy-to-use application. It's very intuitive, it's very responsive. You can drag, drop, be able to organize, chart. It's to understand your data. And as you use this, it actually builds an on-the-fly visual model of everything that you've done. So you can take and explore the data, and at the end of the day, leverage that model again without having to recreate it. But rather than just talk about it, I've asked Elvis to come out and show us. Elvis? Thank you, Damien. Data exploration often precedes analysis, and Insights for ArcGIS is a new web application that allows you to interactively explore and analyze your data. With Insights, we introduce the concepts of workbooks, pages, and cards. So you're looking at an Insights workbook. Let's start by opening up a brand new workbook and exploring some drilling permits in the Permian Basin. Insights allows you to work with many different types of data, including spreadsheets. I can immediately access all of the attributes. So right away, I can start to look at the attributes of my data. On, upon visual inspection, I notice that I have an X and a Y here, which I can use to create a spatial coordinate. So let's enable that. With Insights, we visualize data on cards as a map, a chart, or even a table. Let's take a look at some of the operators uh, permitted to drill in the Permian by creating a tree map. Right away, I can start to see who some of the major operators are. By choosing filing purpose and an operator, I can create a quick bar chart. And immediately, I can visualize that as a summary table, just so things are a bit clearer. The map card allows me to change the attributes that I'd like to see on my map. So I'm going to choose well type. I'm presented with an interactive legend. So as I click on my legend items, you can see the distribution of the data on the map, but you can also see that level of interaction on the tree map as well. And those records are also being selected in my table. So all of these cards, these views of the data, they're all linked. On the back of my card, I have statistics. The card also allows me to interact with the data through selections. I have a box select. I even have a lasso. So I can select some of my data with a little box select, and you can see the interaction on the other cards. Let's bring in some Texas counties and aggregate our permits on the counties in the area simply by dragging and dropping. And there you go. Quick aggregation on the counties in the area. Again, on the back of the card, I have some summary statistics. So I'd like to take a deeper look at this data, and let's see if we can understand where our high-producing wells are relative to expiring leases. IHS Market provided us some leases which I have hosted in my portal. So we're going to bring those leases in and immediately start to look at them in terms of the active leases and those past their primary term. And by creating a time series, we can focus on the leases that are going to expire in the month of July. So as I click on my time series, I want you to pay attention to the map on the left. I'm selecting out different leases based on their date of expiration. But I'm interested in those expiring in July, so I'm going to click on that. And we're going to focus on working just with those leases exclusively. Now I've got my leases subsetted by those expiring in the month of July of this year. But with Insights, we can work with a lot of other types of data, such as data from my portal. So I'm going to bring in 
my well locations. I've got a database connection here to a SQL database. I can work with SAP HANA as well. And I'm going to bring in my well production. Let's make sure we bring that in properly. There we go. Now immediately, my wells are drawn onto a map. But I like to create a relationship between my well production and the location of the wells. So I'm going to take advantage of the well geography. And I'm going to enable the location. I'm going to use the geography of my wells, the well API, and I'm going to use the well locations. And I'm going to quickly run that. We no longer need these wells because they don't have any production values. Looking at the first 12 months of oil production, I can start to see where all the high producing wells are. But I'm going to also create a histogram so that I can actually pick out my highest producing wells. So by clicking on the bars on the histogram, I can start to pick out those wells on the left. And I'm going to drag those over and work with those exclusively with my expiring leases. Let's bring that map to the forefront. Right away, I can see where all my high producing wells are relative to expiring leases. I want to take this a bit further, though. Using the action button on the button on the bottom of my card, I can immediately take advantage of some spatial analytic tools. But analysis is really about asking questions. So with insights, we're also prompting you with some questions. So I want to figure out how the data is related, or maybe just what's nearby. So using these leases and these um, wells, I'm going to focus on wells that are within two miles of my expiring leases. Let's run that. Right away, you can start to see all of my wells, specifically the ones within two miles of expiring leases. So far, everything I've done in this analysis has been captured in what we call an analysis view. Insights documents every step of your analysis. I could take this view and share it as a model so other people in my organization can run the same analysis with their own data. But I can also share it as a page so that you can embed it in a story map and start to leverage other parts of our platform. So let's show you what it looks like in a page. I've shared this with my portal, and here's a page view of my data. So Insights is really about exploratory analysis, but it's also about associating different types of data so that you can carry out that exploratory analysis. It's a new way of looking at your data and interacting with your data in a step-by-step -step process. Thank you. Damien, back to you. Thanks, Elvis. Elvis did a great job showing some of the power of what you can do with Insights. And all of you who have enterprise license agreements actually get Insights as part of that. So you have the ability to start taking advantage of this today and using it on your enterprise, on your portal, with your data to start to play with the information. It might be big data, or a lot of people are actually just using this with spreadsheets to start to understand the data they use day to day.